Hi everyone, so this week I am going to be telling you all about Percy. Birds flying high. Sun in the sky, sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Birds flying high. British bred sport horse. He is by uh, the Sias Tiger Attack. Uh, his name is Counter Attack, and that sounds a bit terrifying. And he's not very terrifying. He's uh, really lovely, actually. And so he came to me to be broken in. Um, his lovely owner Carrie uh, needed some assistance. She's got kids, and it's not normally very easy to break horses in on your own at home. So she sent him to me a month ago now, and so I'm going to tell you today all about his story, when he arrived, when he'll be leaving, and all of the bits in between. He's quite a character, so I, uh, yeah, be sure to show you some of the funny bits too. Goodness me. It is muddy today. Had some serious rain these last few days. Snow's gone, and that's been raining. So it is a Sunday. I nearly just fell over in the mud. My <laughs> foot just slipped so bad. And I'm just here to catch the horses in today. So I'm gonna start by getting Percy. Um, so Percy is now up and going. He's on the lunch with me trotting around on him, which is great. He's going home this week, I think. Uh, so I've got some other horses potentially coming in. So, yeah, really pleased with how he's been getting on. So we started just with long lining. Put some video in of that. So here we have Percy, day four. We did some groundwork practice yesterday. Drifting! And the long lining is so good, I can do it with one hand. Yes, Percy. He did, uh, try and bugger off the first day that you guys didn't see but um i held on and i think he's learned that he can't do that so i may be small but i am mighty so with percy and the long lining to start with it's just about the basics stopping and steering and then as we go on it's more about the connection in the rain the submission to the rain so that he's nice and soft and through in the back so that he's not uh, tight and short in the neck and against me. So that's what you'll see in the next video. Uh, this is about a week on since we first started. And you can see he's starting to become a bit softer. He's more reactive, he's more forward, but equally he's much more with me when he then comes back to me and is nice and soft. I uh, changed Percy's bit quite early on. He was just in a loose ring snaffle, but it didn't have, give me very good steering. So I changed him into a full cheek snaffle uh, that's just got a little bit of a cheek on it to help with the steering from one way to the other. Hi, Perce. We'll get you in in a second, girls. Come on, mud monster. Goodness gracious, the wet is bad. Boom. Oh, what have you been doing? Look at the bloody state of your man. Yeah, work my camera, thanks so much. He likes to put things in his mouth. Don't you dare. It's his fave. With Percy, we've been doing a lot of groundwork with him. Now the groundwork I do a lot with the young horses, helping them learn a bit about their bodies 
about how we want them to react to pressure. So I'll tell you a little, a funny little story. When I first met Carrie, one of the first stories she told me about Percy, we spoke on the phone and something that she really wanted help with was his reaction to something that frightens him. So we spoke about when to get started because as he's young, it is a risk to get started with them early because risk of their joints not being developed and then not being strong enough. But we started very gently with the groundwork. And the reason we did that is because when Carrie had, Carrie's had Percy since he was a foal. I might even be able to find a picture of him there. But because of this, she's known him all his life and known what he's been like all his life. And when she first had him, when he was maybe a year or two years old, she was having her hair done, you know, having her highlights put in. And um, she caught him in from the field and they flapped in the wind. I think you can probably imagine it. And off he went at high speed. So for Carrie, working on the pressure, so for instance, how he reacts to pressure was something so important for her because like I said she's got kids she doesn't need a wild three-year-old diving off at every given opportunity that is not fun so it was really important that we started with that and I'll show you a bit about that process now so you so I mentioned that I was doing some groundwork with Percy now the groundwork stuff is um, all about pressure and release so I have a pressure, so a bag, a flag, an umbrella. And what I do is I show Percy the pressure and I encourage him to give me the right answer. The right answer is to relax his body, to drop his head. These are things that I have encouraged him to do just through moving his body. To start with so I move his body from the ground just with my hands and the rope and then I start encouraging him with the pressure So I lift the pressure, if he drops his head, he relaxes, he licks and chews, he shows me a sign of finding a restful place, I then take the pressure away and then I put the pressure back, I see how he's reacting and when he's just low, finding that restful, relaxed place, the place he would be if he was eating grass. then end with a horse who's a little more programmed that when it feels a pressure so plastic bag or a judge's table or something that is spooking it that it finds a relaxing place and wants to draw towards the pressure because it has learned that when it goes towards the pressure it shows its body is relaxed that that pressure will go away and it is in a very safe place that is the best way to describe what I'm doing I think um, it's all about helping them to help themselves rather than us making them do things it's always their choice they're always choosing whether to come towards the pressure they choose it's never that they're held in a place and the bag is on the stick it is that they are given the choice to run away or to show that they are understanding of a different way to use their body when there is a pressure I hope that makes sense so just while I'm walking His Royal Highness in the arena for his 15 minute walking today I'm going to tell you a little bit about 
how I get started and then show you the videos. So with Percy, we started on the yard, leaning on, moving his body with me lent on. And then from there, I sit on, and then I go through exactly the same pattern. The same pattern that I did from the ground, turning the hind legs, asking him back, moving him away from my inside rein and my inside leg. So I'm always in control of the inside hind leg. And that is what is so important, that control of the legs, because otherwise, if I'm not in control of his legs, and he's not in control of his legs, most importantly, that is very scary because that is how you get bucked off. I start from the ground, I turn the body underneath me with my weight on and then I can encourage that out onto a slightly bigger circle on the hard surface. I break them on the hard surface, I always start horses on the yard because I always find that you do it in a big school, I don't have a lunge pen, I don't have a round pen, that would be ideal, so I use the yard like a round pen because what I want is I want them to feel confident to move their feet but not confident enough that they can show me some freestyle moves. The most important thing for me when I'm breaking horses in is that they learn by success, not by failure, not by failing to buck me off. So then they learn how to be broken in. So that they learn that we have success together, that they're successful at enjoying their day and moving their feet in a positive way, training through success. That is always my game plan, never to just train through failure, that they fail to do something and that I succeed. It's always that they succeed in answering the question that I ask them. So after we had worked in the yard, uh, we have progressed and worked, started working in the school. Um, again, making sure that he's staying nice relaxed. It's all
When I first started working Percy under saddle, I did find that he was quite tentative uh, in his steps. He wasn't that keen to sort of march out straight away and they are all different and I definitely find that. Some when you first get on, they take a really positive forward step and that's just the way that they start they're just confident but for me with Percy it was really important that I let him work at his own speed a little bit I didn't straight get away on and really force him round it was all about him making that decision to be a little more forward Did it, first trot. Yeah. Good job. Honestly, all the time with him, it has always been about his confidence. He's young, he's big. I don't want him to feel unconfident and that I'm making him do something. This is not good filming, per se. What on earth? This definitely isn't gonna be the end of my story with Percy. He will return home to his lovely mum and I will continue riding him with her. She'll ride him, I'll ride him and we will, uh, you'll be able to follow his journey all the way. Percy and that is where we are at he has been trained with confidence and consistency and now he is a well-educated young horse and he really likes my hat I hope you like this video today guys if you want to if you like it give it a thumbs up share it with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel and I will see you next week say bye purse bye Jesus, Jesus.